Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, single filer, Mr. Anderson, 90210 Beverly Hills. We're just going to have the rental income flowing through at the 100000 to start out with. That's coming from, of course, the Schedule E, which is the supplemental income and loss from rental real estate, so on and so forth. Basically formatted in an income statement structure, rental income minus rental expenses. Bottom line here, the 100000 which in essence pulling into Schedule 1, which is pulling into page 1, Form 1040. And we've got the standard deduction, 12950 giving us the taxable income, 87050 Tax calculated, page number 2, total tax, 14774 Okay, so now we want to run a situation where we have a more complex situation where we have a piece of rental property that let's start out with is partially for business use on um, partially for rental and we partially use it for personal or possibly live in it for personal. Then we're going to have a situation where some of the expenses we're going to have to break out. So this is kind of more of a bookkeeping type of thing that you could think about. So if we had basically our our general income statement we might have rental income for example and let's say the rental income is uh eight thousand uh let's let's say it's going to be equal to 750 times 12. let's say it was nine thousand of the rental income let's put that on the outside and then we've got our expenses so i'll say expenses expense expenses and then let's say that we have the mortgage interest and let's first think about the total expenses and then we'll have to break them out between rental and uh personal so let's say the total mortgage interest is 1800 let's say we have a fire insurance let's say that's 100 let's say we have miscellaneous uh re repairs on uh, the let's say we have a uh, miscellaneous repairs rental rental and then let's say we have real estate taxes of one two zero zero let's say we have and so let's say that's the total so total expenses expenses is going to be then the uh five uh, total expenses. Let's sum them up here. So what let me do this again. I had I had mortgage interest fire insurance miscellaneous repairs 291 total experience summing that up boom So there we have that let's actually pull this back into the middle and Let's put an underline here and that would give us a net income of this minus this however i i'm using it partially for personal use so i'd have to figure out my personal use now the, the income is just going to be from rental property it's going to be some of these expenses that i might have to break out between business and personal how might we do that breakout we might do something like a, a ratio analysis so we might say something like we, we could take the square footage or whatever would be reasonable square footage is common or the rooms compared to the total number of rooms. So let's say that the the rental is, uh, uh, let's say 300 square feet and the total uh, total square feet square feet for the place is 1200 12. 100 equals 300 over 1200 percent that would be 25 percent so here's our percent rental so the percent rental 25 percent so then i'm gonna say okay we need to to break out the personal versus the rental here so let's make this one a little smaller and let's say this is rental let's say personal 
and rental. And I'll make that our header. Let's actually pull this down a bit. I'm gonna select these and insert above it, right click, insert. I know I'm doing this fast, but it's not an Excel course. So I don't wanna, did I spell personal right? I doubt it. Of course not, that doesn't look right. Idiot. What am I, change it, change it, make it right. All right, and then we're gonna say this is gonna be black and white and center it. And so we'll say for the, for the income, it's all rental because obviously we didn't get income from the personal side. I'll indent these two just so we can see it a little more clear. Indent that. But then on the expenses, we're gonna have a breakout. So, so it's gonna be 25% rental. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be equal to this times the 25%, boom. So the personal side of it is gonna be this minus this, or it's gonna be this times 0.75, however you wanna calculate it. Fire, we're gonna assume that's for the whole place. Same thing then, it's gonna be this times 25% for the rental. The personal will be the difference then. And then the miscellaneous I said was on the rental itself. So if it's on the rental itself, I'm just gonna say that's part of the rental property. I don't have to break it out because I did repairs to the rental part of the property, not on the personal. So there's no breakout necessary as there is for these expenses, which are for the full property, which we then needed to break out. And then the real estate I'm gonna say is equal to this times the 0.25 and personal is this minus this. So there's our breakout. Let's put some underline here. So my net income on the rental is really gonna be this. My, I need to sum up the expenses. Sum up the expenses, boom. So my net income is gonna be something like this minus that. Uh, the 7,934 here as a, as opposed as opposed to this amount we also have to deal with the depreciation we might touch on in a second but also note that some of these items like the mortgage interest this personal side of the mortgage interest i might still get a benefit from because i might be able to deduct on the schedule a same with the real estate taxes but so it, so it would be a breakout between schedule e and a so the total let's put the total over here just so we can see make sure that my totals match up for these two, so the totals still tie out to these totals. So that looks good. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter this data then into the system. So we'll say, okay, let's imagine this was our rental income statement. Let's go to the schedule E and I'm gonna say that we had a rental income of nine, let's say 9,000. So this is what we would have thus far. Uh, we don't have the depreciation on there yet, but we've got the, the income statement then being populated, the rents minus the portion of the expenses that are allocable to the rental property to get down to the net amount, which was that 7,934. Now the amounts for mortgage interest and, and property taxes aren't gonna help me if I'm just, having the standard deduction, but if they're significant enough to push us over to itemizing, then we might have to break those out into the itemized deductions, meaning you're going to have to take that mortgage interest statement and break it out according to the, to the ratio between those two possible deductible items. So if I said we had the schedule A then, 